Alright, welcome guys, this is Killer Panda, and today we are gonna play some Fallout. And we're gonna find out, you know what, does war ever change? I think it does, but Fallout seems to think differently. So if you guys don't know about Fallout, this is the original Fallout. You know that game Fallout 3? This is Fallout 1, this is the first one, so, you know. That's what, that's what's going on. So let's get started. Time to make a character. I'm going to create a character. All right. His name is going to be Panda. There you go. He's going to be he's going to be youthful. He's 22 years old and he's a man. He's a man's man. All right. And I'm trying to think about the best way to play this and I really I want to I want to have some decent charisma. I'm not going to worry too much about being smart. Okay. Um, strength. Perception. Perception I want to be up a little bit because that's going to help. That's going to help me a lot. So I can actually, if I'm trying to shoot people, perception's going to do the job. Um, and endurance. Let's do that one. Perception up one more. Charisma. Hmm. Let's, yeah, yeah, I think that'll be good. So agility, that gives me more action points. Luck is just, I don't want to mess with luck, I'm scared to. Melee damage and carry weight. Probably want to keep that, you know, in a general area. Let's make him a little bit, no, that's skill points per level. So I don't want to drop it down too low. I want him to have some agility, but I'm really scared not to have endurance. Th see, this is why. So just just to start off, I I played this game a little bit and failed, so I've never gotten very far on it. But I'm really gonna I'm really gonna give it my all this time. So what I'm hoping is just that. So I'm playing it pretty blind though, so don't get surprised. You know, I there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I should pick. That I won't know about. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Alright, I'm going to take speech. Because I'm trying to go for pretty charismatic. Um, small guns. That's going to be important. And is first aid. Perception at least will help, will help with that. So, Heal small cuts. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we can just rest as well, so... I'm not going to worry about stealing or anything. Bartering could be nice. Um... My energy weapons is just awful. Agility is the core of energy weapons, so... Oh, wait, what? What is perception for, then? Sequence and ranged combat distance modifier. So it is good. But my damage... Right? Oh, plus my agility. Yeah, so my actual skill with small guns is based off of my agility. So... I want to have... Like that. That's what I want then, right? I want agility, I think. I think. Because everything is... It's all agility based, so... We could tag energy weapons to... <laughs> the, the care and feeding of energy based weapons. You like, you give them a little snack. That's funny. I could also do throwing. That'd be cool. Then that way I could throw grenades and stuff too, so. Um, let's see, kamikaze. Lowers armor class. Eh. No, we're not doing that. Um. One hander. Hmm. I don't know if I want to commit to that. Small frame. Yeah. 
Never slowed you down. You can't carry as much, but you're more agile. Yes, we're taking that. I've heard that's a good one. Um, Fast shot. Hmm. Attack faster than normal. Um, I don't think I want that. Jinxed. Bloody mess. I won't do that. That I want this to be pretty PG. Good natured. First aid doctor speak and barter are in stand, are substantially improved. That's that's a big hike. I'm scared to do that one. I could have sworn. Hmm. Start with better skill levels. That you do not gain as many extra abilities. We'll gain a perk every four low. No, I don't want that. Gifted. Alright. Yeah, so that would be... Yeah, those are kind of... Switchers. Switch-offs. Fast shot. Okay, so I think I'm just going to take small frame. Options. Any options that I need? No. Alright. Done. Now we're going to have a little cinematic. So I'm going to be quiet. Ha. Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I... I think you're the only hope we have. Me? You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? And we're out. Alright, let's see what this guy... That big old bag of bones. I'm taking your bullets. Um... 10mm AP. 10mm JHP. And a 10mm pistol. Uh, okay. Did I do it? Oh, okay, now I can do it. Item one's gonna be that, item two is gonna be throwing knives. Okay. That's a flare. Okay, so we've got some stuff, we've got some knives. We'll be okay. Maybe I'll Okay, yeah, that'll that'll be fine. All right, I do not know how to play the game yet, so bear with me. So we click, we click to move. Is he dead? And I need five points for that action. Okay, um, let's move over here. Try and fight me. 
There we go. We got him. Oh, okay, combat's over. Okay, so we did it. We've successfully killed one rat. No, I don't want to do that. No, cancel. Okay, all right, there we go. There we go. I'm figuring it out. Slowly but surely, I'm figuring this game out, so... Are we in combat? No. We're fine. Oh, you better not. Oh, two hit points. That would cost me two action points, so I can be like, boop, boop. I don't know what that means. I assume it's like doing a targeted shot. What's the easiest thing to hit? Let's shoot him right in his leg. No, right in the body. Shot to the body. Blam. Get out of here. Ninety-three percent chance to hit. I think I think we'll hit him. Yeah. Some people say you shouldn't use bullets on dumb rats. Well, they're not even fighting me anymore, right? Okay. Okay. There we go. Some people say you shouldn't use bullets on dumb rats. I say they don't know what they're talking about. That's what bullets are made for. Shooting rats. There can't, there's definitely nothing more dangerous out here, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Hilarious. Yeah, we'll be fine. Die, you stupid rat. Is he... I missed... You've got to be kidding. How did I miss him? He was right next to me. There's a 93% chance to hit him. There. I think I can probably just end combat if I want to. These rats don't have anything. Why don't they have any money or anything? In Fallout World, rats don't eat money. Obnoxious. Let's just get out of here. Just gotta get out of here. So yeah, this is this is where this is where Fallout came from. And I yeah, I so I did play this game a little bit. I never never got extremely far with it. But rest assured, it's a cool game and there's some neat story to it. There's a lot of and it's it just comes from that that bygone time of when game companies just had to make these incredibly complex games, you know, like or where they, you know, they could there wasn't, there weren't so many, there wasn't such a strong understanding of like cost to effort, you know, that there is now. And so it's just cool because there's stuff like, I remember, I know you can, like where I was changing all my stats, I could have made myself just obscenely stupid and they put in all of the dialogue for it. It's not like, oh, you're stupid, but. You, ha you can only be stupid to a point. Like, that's something that I remember that they put in Fallout 3. Was It was like, you could still dock your trades, but you couldn't dock them to the point where you were, like, not even... Not even a very sentient person anymore, you know? And that's what's cool in this, is... They just do stuff like that, and it's just, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of things that you can do in this game that you just couldn't do... In other games. 
I remember, let's see, yeah, the one time I was playing it, I I never knew what ghouls were or anything. And so you go into a ghoul town, and there's ghouls everywhere. I was like, oh no, zombies. And I just shot every one of them. And they were just civilians. And the game just let me do it. I just killed all of them. And they were like, okay, well, you did it. You know, you killed a whole town full of people. They didn't mind. And I appreciate that. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna keep going. Take out some more of these rats. I'm getting 25 experience points for every one of these rats, so. Point being, it's worth the trouble. And I'm getting better at shooting them, too. So that's good. And plus, last, I also don't know where I'm going, so. May as well fight some rats. deal with that, you dumb rat. I wonder where I'm going. Maybe down over that way. This rat's like, you're going down, bro. Doubt it. My rat killer. Killing rats all day. You gotta start somewhere. You, oh! Oh, he missed. You better learn to aim, homie. Oh, you learned how to die. Let's check my stats. 30 of 32. Do, do, do. Doodly, do, do. A doodly, do, do. So I need to get about a thousand experience to get to the next level. I mean. 25. Ooh. Yeah, I got 50 for that rat. Oh, wait, that was because I killed two of them. So, I don't know. 25. 25 per rat. That's not a ton, but that. That'll have an effect still, all the same. I better just kill all the rats. Better just do what needs to be done. Yeah, I'm not going to kill all these rats. There's way too many rats. There's like a thousand rats over there. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. We're out of here. And end combat. There we go. Yeah, that's too many rats. It might be to my detriment in the future, but that's boring. Nobody wants to see me kill rats for three hours. Right? So we'll just, yeah, we'll just go out into the wastes. And we're going to learn the truth. There's some bones. They are too weathered to make a final determination. Horned kangaroo bones. Oh, snap. There's horned, horned kangaroos out here. Where's Vault 15? Just go that way. That's the only place we know to go anyways. It's the 8th of December in the year 2161. I made my way somewhere. How do you stop? How do you stop? Vault of the future. Let's go to... Oh. What's here? There's something here. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Please holster that weapon while you're here. Fair enough, jerk. How you like that? It's holstered. Good day, I am called Seth. How can I help you? I'd like some information there, Seth. Information? What do you want to know? I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and red scorpions, we would have no problem. 
I want to know about the red scorpions. Those ding-dong red scorpions have been after our Brahmin since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. What? How do I scroll back up? Looking for an antidote as quickly as you can. Hey, if you have the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, Aradesh? I want to know about this place. What about the raiders? There are several groups of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help fight them off. There's one band to the southeast of here. Watch out for them. Well, thanks. You should speak to Aradesh, our leader. He likes to meet all of our visitors. He should be in our town hall, the building to the south. Hey, I might just do that, bro. Look at this little dog. I want to talk to him. Welcome to Shady Sand, Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Please help me. I'd be happy to help you. I myself was once like you. Hopefully my knowledge will be useful. Um... We're gonna get better equipment. You'll have to do like we do, scavenge it or trade for it. And if you're attacked, your foes might provide equipment. If you live long enough to loot them, we are something something. Items cannot... Let's see. We are a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for the items we cannot produce. And tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when it was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and did not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was watching over me, and I was found by... Hmm. And I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He's a merchant guard who was hurt. He's recovering in the guardhouse over there. He is more... Um, he is more widely traveled than I. That's all for now. Thanks a lot. Let's see. Let's see if we can find this Ian fellow. Oh, we have to go the other way. Going around, nice to see you, nice to see you too, old man. You look real weathered and beaten down, but I don't care at all. A short, stocky fellow. Hello, stranger. You look like you, you look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Panda. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. What do you do here? I was a guard for the merchants of the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still my knowledge of the outside world, yeah. Still my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Shady Saints is my home now. Occasionally I even get to visit Junktown or the hub to do some trading. Since I'm the only person here who's ever really left town. Sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks, it's been healing up well. Thanks to Razlo. Um... Could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Mm, tempting offer. Since this place gets boring, tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps and you've got a deal. No thanks. I don't have money. You're a jerk. Shady Sands guards. Welcome stranger, we don't see your kind often. Uh, thanks, bye. Not so fast, this is a small community. We don't see strangers often. We don't really need them if you get my meaning. If you don't have a good reason to be here, you better just uh, keep a moving. Hey, I ain't a gonna hurt a anybody. I wasn't saying that you was gonna, you just better leave us alone. I could just kill him. I don't think that's what my guy would do. He's a nice guy. He's a pleaser. I should have killed him. Make an example out of him. Doggy. Hey there, doggy. Bye, dog. All right, guys. And I think... I think I'm going to stop it here. 
Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll definitely keep going with this. So let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do. Um, thanks a lot. Bye.